And now you're dead. How do you like that? You're dead now. Alright, welcome back to this Spamless Game where we're playing four games for the NES. We are playing The Black Bass, Castle Quest, DuckTales, and Fester's Quest. And our first game today is The Black Bass, which came out in 1989, and the box art says, Hot be the Black Bass. Hot be the Black Bass. The rumor is true. They will open up the International Anglers Fishing Tournament with selected 200 professional anglers at your NES. The shadow of the fish appears from the depths of the lake. This is a real simulation game between man and the fish. The black bass makes fantasy a dreamy competition come true. The black bass will jump up and try to hide at the bottom of the trees in four different lakes. Now the tournament is ready to start. I have no fun facts. Let's play the game. Black Bass USA. What's your name? I guess I'm A. I am a ranking player. Play game. I am a beginner. Play game. Look at my record. Look at my record. Please enjoy yourself at this year's angling event. Thank you and good luck. I don't trust that man. I do not trust him. Look at him. Like Amanda. Like Amanda. Participant ranking 200. Things are happening. You can move to another place. Results so day. End. End it all, please. Okay. Graphics. And it's a big blue water. Graphics seem whatever. They're okay. A four. Sound. Sound is okay. Music. A little less than okay. Story. Um, something about a tournament and a fish. Half a one. Controls. They seem okay, I guess, for a fishing game. Funness, zero. Does it hold my attention? Zero. And the black bass is going to get a three, I'm sure. If you like fishing games, it's just terrific and the best fishing game ever made. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, our next game today is called Castle Quest, which came out in 1989. And the box art here is a very colorful um, demon-y thing, giant. And there's a, a knight and some goblins fighting a... Buccaneer, and there's a damsel in distress, of course. Castle Quest. A long time ago, in a faraway land, there lived a lovely princess named Margarita. Her beauty and grace were known throughout the land. They even named drinks after her, especially to the mad miser, the dark lord of the grim, groken castle high in the forbidden mountains. He had vowed to make the princess his queen, and so one terrible day he sent his ghoulish helpers to capture her, and she was carried off and imprisoned in one of the hundred miserable rooms of the Groken Castle. News of the kidnapping spread throughout the kingdom, and many courageous young men braved the perils of Groken Castle and attempted to rescue the princess, only to become hopelessly lost in the complicated maze of rooms, ensnared by one of the many treacherous traps or foiled by mad misers' deadly servants. Finally, the news reached the worthy Prince Raphael, who had long loved the princess from afar. Raising his sword to the heavens, Prince Raphael swore that nothing would keep him from her side and set out on his castle quest. The odds are against him uh, seemed hopeless, but the legend has it that two magical fairies had helped captive in the castle for centuries. If the prince can find and release them to gain their help, he may yet succeed in his quest and to rescue the fair princess, he is prepared to face the deadly wrath of the Dark Lord himself. Uh, okay. So not that fun of a fact, but a little fun fact is that this game in Japan was called Castle Excellent which I think is a much better name. So let's play Castle Excellent. And, uh, okay. Terrific. There's a loud truck outside. That's even better. Almost like it's ca 
Castle excellent. Get the cross. Stab the thing. Get the blue key. So it's kind of a puzzle game. Go through the blue door. Now you're here. I don't know what I just did. And now you're dead. How do you like that? You're dead now. So I guess I can't drop down there. Okay. Okay. I get it. Oh, nope. I fell on the, the spike. The thing. Okay. So let's push it this way. Maybe I'm supposed to do this. Up, oh, there it goes. I'm dead forever. Can I leave and come back? And my quest for castling? Can I jump up there? And up there? And get the thing and the thing and the thing and the, the thing? Guys, I'm in another room. There's a gremlin up there. Things. All right. I have no patience for a little puzzly game at the moment. Castle Quest. The graphics get a three. The sound seems okay. Two and a half. Music is a little grating. We'll give it a two. Story. It's got a, a big detailed story in the box. I guess I get to get it something. We'll give it a three. Controls. Controls are okay. Maybe a four. Uh, funness. If you like puzzly kind of games, it seems like it could be kind of cute and fun. Does it hold my attention? Ah, uh, two and overall, I think I'm going to give it a three and a half. That was Castle Quest for the NES. Let's move on to the next game. All right, our next game today is DuckTales for the NES, which came out in 1989. And it's a classic, pretty much. Here's the box art, and the back of the box says... <clears throat> Bless me bagpipes. When will the Thrill Seeker Scrooge McDuck ever quit? Never one to turn away from adventure, Uncle Scrooge has taken on his greatest challenge to discover the legendary five lost treasure and become the richest duck in the world, which I thought he already was. Join Scrooge and the DuckTales in the loud truck outside your house, uh, Gung Flo, Flying Ace Launchpad, the nephews Huey, Dewey, and Louie, and Little Webby on their search. Together they must trek through the treacherous Amazon jungles, down the diamond mines of Africa, and even to the moon! Are you duck enough to join them on their venture? Come along to Duckburg headquarters and see for yourself. Uh, so fun fact, this is a great game, and um, you should play it if you haven't, but let's, uh, let's play it anyway. Yeah, we had the theme song there, and I skipped it because I'm a jerk. So we can kind of go to one of these places. Remember how to control this thing. Let's jump around. Down, there we go. Nope, not down. There we go. Now we're bouncing. Just had to figure out what I was doing. Pogo sticking around. And Capcom made good games. Even their licensed games were pretty good. I don't remember how to play this game. But that's not the game's fault. See? I'm just dumb. Diamonds out of the air. Horrible spider. Man. Okay, well that truck is really loud and annoying. And I'm not good at this game, but maybe I'll play it some other time on my Patreon channel a little bit. In the meantime, I think you should play the game because it is actually a really good game. Uh, graphics. Graphics are good. We're going to give those a 7.5. Sound is excellent. We'll give that a 8. Music is great. We'll give it a 9. Story is even okay. We'll give that a 7. Controls, they take a little getting used to. We'll give it a 6.5 there. It is fun once you learn to control it. Funness. Um, seven doesn't hold my attention. A five and a half, and overall, Ducktales is going to get a. I'll give it a seven and a half. 
that was DuckTales for the NES. And let's move on to the last game of the day. All right, our last game today is a game called Fester's Quest, which came out in 1989, and we've already played it on this channel because for some reason my system called it Adam's Family. Uh, anyway, there's the box art. We're going to be playing this again. Yay. Okay, it's a bad game. Yay, Fester's Quest. Dark. Why does the first enemy in the game take, like, 50 hits? Oh, the truck from, uh, you when know, I was trying to play DuckTales seemed to have gotten away, gone away a little bit, so... I'm glad it was here when I was trying to play a good game, and now that I have to play this bad game again, it's gone away and been quiet. Blue frog, stay away from me. Where are you going, Fester? Where are you going? Why are you going that way, Fester? Hot dogs. in this building. Let's not set the game. Oh yeah, the stupid dark areas. Okay. All right, let's rate it. Fester's Quest. So graphics, graphics aren't too bad. We'll give it a five. Sound is okay. It's a four. Music, uh, two and a half. It kind of gets on your nerves after a while. Not a 23 and a half. Two and a half. Uh, story, probably about a two and a half. Controls, eh, they're not so good. I'll give it a one there. And funness, zero, does it hold my attention? Zero. And overall, Adam's Family, a two and a half. That's it. Check me out on Patreon, like, subscribe, and we'll see you next game.